when I came from out of college, I felt my main role in the church was to help people to come to understanding of what Christian faith was all about. A little bit like a seed and it germinating and, and starting to grow. But early on in my ministry, I realized that it was much more needed than that, and that, um, that discipleship was needed to help people to actually mature in their Christian faith. Not just to be satisfied with a little plant, but a plant that would actually mature and grow to a point where it could actually lead others um, to being followers of Jesus as well. For many people, they learned their Christian faith as children and never really have had an opportunity to engage with faith as adults. I think discipleship is really important, but it doesn't have to look the same in every place. Over the last number of months in, here in West Cork, we've been uh, giving people opportunities to, to do different courses to help them understand more about their faith. So we've, we've run Alpha courses in the past, but we've also been doing the Bible course um, and the prayer course. And these have been very helpful for them to develop further their understanding of what the Christian faith is all about and how to practice it in their day-to-day -day lives. Alpha Course is, is brilliant. It's absolutely fantastic as a starting point. It's brilliant to get together with a group of people and it's the first time as adults you could sit down and actually discuss your faith. And from that then I found that group discussion type of setting just really good. The format was actually brilliant. So then when the opportunity for doing the Bible course came up, that was great to be honest. I <laughs> probably never knew which end of the Bible to pick up. <laughs> Normally when I read the Bible I just read it and I didn't stop and think about what I had read. The Bible course taught me to read and stop and think about what I had read. I mean I think the prayer course has been good because it's sort of broken it down into you know different types of prayer. I think that's been really very beneficial. You just tend to sort of pray about things and not really sort of think about it in more depth of different ways of praying. I would encourage anybody to do it really because I think it's been very very useful and, and it's good to do it with other people and to have the fellowship of that. Most of the members that were in my Bible course are here doing the prayer course with me as well so it's been great to actually learn from each of them. I have been a member of the Church of Ireland from birth. My faith was reasonably strong in those maybe early years after I got married and we had one child and then I suppose I fell away from the church sadly. I still had a faith but it wasn't maybe as strong and then I just had that light bulb moment where you know something clicked and I wanted to be involved. I wanted to just involve myself more deeply in my faith. I met with the Reverend Johnny just before the pandemic and it's just developed from there and I've grown more in, in, in faith and enjoy my faith and need it. I've you know. been involved in, uh, in youth work and scouting primarily for, for nearly 30 years and um, scouting uh, I had to close just like everything else and it had such a detrimental effect on young people not being able to get out but it certainly affected, affected their mental health and their physical health. You could see the change uh, in the young people, they weren't as confident. So I felt that there was a need for something uh, in, in the village and for uh, the young people spiritually, which would help their mental health and both and physically as well with uh, a youth uh, outreach. So I had this thing burning in my mind and I had a chat with the Reverend Johnny and he was, he was thinking pretty much along the same, the same lines. So we did a bit of brainstorming. It is just a thrill to see anyone in the parish uh, actually come to you and say, listen, I'd like to do something. I'd like to, uh, and what about this idea? Whenever Nigel came to me, uh, especially last summer, and he, he had this idea for the Youth Outreach Project, it was just like music to my ears. I, I loved his vision that it wasn't just for uh, young people in the parish, it was for anybody in the community. So we started off, uh, everything in place, uh, half six doors opened and, and they came. Young people are the future of everything obviously but of our uh, our church we need to uh, engage with uh, with the young people uh, they need spiritual guidance they, uh, they need to develop in their faith but on their terms they, they need to be able you know, to do things that they want to do the net result of that has been if I walk around uh, the neighborhood here in Sion Mills and I bump into some of those guys now they know me, know me by name and they'll say all right, Johnny, how's it going? And I'm just thinking, well, that's wonderful. You know, there's, there's a connection that's been made. We have limited resources in terms of people, and I don't want to exhaust people either, but um, we could look back and reflect and see that God's hand was upon us. And um, we could see too that 
this was the start of something. It was the start of something good.